Alright, so before we go printing that, I want to give you an awareness of size and uh, things that might happen with the product. So, this is a pair of calipers, digital calipers. And believe it or not, I have a lot of students that's never used a pair of these, so we have to go over these. Um, I can turn the unit on. And in 3D print, I use millimeters. So what you do is click mode until you get to millimeters. Now, really, these are your best friend. Take in case this little tiny M3 nut. Okay? Now that product that I have is a certain thickness. And a certain thickness dictates, or it should be correlating to the nut height of this. Okay, so check this out. Measure it out. Bam. 2.28. If you remember right, I made the product roughly 4 millimeters in height in that last video. So, we know that 2.28 is going to be taken up inside the unit. Uh, we need that space in order to compensate for this nut. So, we should go back and look at the design to see if there's a space of 2.28 or 2.29. And I'd like to give myself a little bit of a tolerance here, and you can see the tolerance firsthand. So, even if it's 2.28, I will physically add 5 to that back number. Okay, so now I have a tolerance right about there. And that's compensating for that plastic contracting. So how about 2.71 actually? Somewhere around there. So get yourself a pair of these. They are floating around in the lab. And if you ever have any problem measuring something, Yep, that's, that's it. It's no big mystery, but this is one of the scariest tools for students sometimes. Alright, let's go back to the product before we go printing it.